What's up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Roz here with Super Cost Blog. Today I'm here to talk about Walking with Dinosaurs 3D, uh, the new movie film uh, that comes out on Christmas Day. Um, tell you stuff I like, stuff I did not like. This right here is pretty much how the star of this film look. Um, I think his name is Planty or Planty, whatever his name is. I can't remember. He's like a, I guess you would say a teenager, about to grow up into an adult uh, uh, rhinoceros, dinosaur type thing. Um, he has a family. I don't know where his mama at. Maybe his mama dead. And they, they never showed the mama. Got the daddy in here. He the leader uh, of this particular uh, herd. And uh, also, he got a brother named Scholar. Scholar is sort of like the big brother, uh, sort of like a jock. You know, think he know everything. That don't know nothing. Uh, as you will see in this film, I ain't gonna give away too many spoilers, but let's just say he's stupid. Um, your man Planty, he got a crush on this girl. I think her name is Juniper or something. And dude's just going all crazy, love sick all over her. And that takes up a lot of film. This little button romance between him and, and uh, Juniper, whatever her name is, takes up a lot of space. So this is like a real love dino story. So if you like love dino story, romantic story, this is going to be for you. All right. Now, the basic plot, uh, sort of like what you see with birds when they are different times of year, that they migrate and stuff like that. Well, the same thing happens with these um, dinosaur rhinoceros things, or whatever they are. They have to travel during the different uh, times of the year. So they go migrate, I think. I don't know where they started out at. I know they went to Alaska, or they would start in Alaska, whatever. Uh, they went up to Alaska during the, the winter time, and that's where the adventure begins. You know, you got different... Um, Creatures that come to challenge them, try to kill them. You can imagine. Uh, it's one of them type of adventure stories. Um, but it is definitely Lord of the Ring as you know, the whole joke of, the, of Lord of the Ring. Just a bunch of drawers walking and walking and walking. It's a bunch of dinosaurs just walking and walking and walking. And they don't walk fast. They walk slow. All right. So it's a long walk. And you're going to be with them for the long walk. Even though this movie is not that long. It's only an hour and a half. Um, parts I really like is a very, this is a very educational movie. You're going to learn about all, if you're not real, and maybe you're a dino nerd or something, you already know about all different dinosaurs. But if not, this movie is going to teach you a lot about the different dinosaurs. Are they, are they carnivorous? Are they uh, plant eaters? Uh, you know, like the little hands that they fight with, even though they're big and strong. It's not, it's not really a, a T-Rex type of movie. This ain't really no Jurassic Park type of thing. They try to show more, you know, educational, friendly. Not really trying to scare the kids. There are some parts that, you know, where some dinosaurs might jump out or some kind of creatures jump out. But this ain't really that scary. Scare the little kids. You can take the little kids to that. Uh, humorizing here. Bunch of cheesy jokes, man. Bunch of cheesy jokes. Just forced jokes. Uh, yeah, one joke I remember talking about, it's hard out here for a bird or something like that, he said. Instead of saying it's hard out here for a pimp, he will say it's hard out here for a bird. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of corny jokes. Not a lot of kids are laughing at a lot of these jokes. Of course, you always know kids gonna laugh when you say doodoo or butt and stuff like that. Now, they did laugh when they said butt and all this type of stuff, saying that over and over again. You know the kids like that. They talk about butts. Kids gonna like that. I'm tired. One, one dinosaur said, I'm tired of smelling a dinosaur butt. Is that necessary? No, it's not. But it makes the kids laugh because they love butt jokes. All right. So, anyway, you got your butt jokes in here. Now, script ain't really that strong. Uh, it's really about the adventure. Now, the, the look um, of the world is basically this it's, it's real life pictures, okay? And it's basically put the animation 
uh, dinosaurs in there. It's not like a whole new created uh, animated world. It's the real world, but they got the dinosaurs, you know, computer animated walking in the real world. Um, so the, I mean, it looks fan, looks fantastic. Now, this, does it feel like you're going into like, like you're you know, into this world like that. No, this ain't like the uh, great and powerful eyes or nothing like that. But, I mean, it, it, it does its job. 3D, I mean, there are parts where they might have that thing might stick in your face and stuff like that. It might stick a beak in your face. 3D ain't really all that necessary. I mean, if you want to do the 3D, I ain't going to say it hurts. But, at the same time, you can just see walking with dinosaurs. You ain't got to see walking with dinosaurs 3D. It ain't that necessary. Um, and so, yeah, basically, this, this is a, a coming age of how one dinosaur goes from a, a boy dinosaur to a man dinosaur. Can you be a man dinosaur? I don't know. But that's really all about. Uh, there are some okay fighting scenes in here. This ain't nothing spectacular, but they do fight a little bit. Um, I did like some of the fighting. The movie gets stronger as it goes along. Like the last fourth of the movie is probably the best stuff. Uh, the conflict, um, I ain't going to say between who, but there's some conflict. And that part got good. So, well, other than that, I'll say, I mean, if you are like dinosaurs and stuff like that, that gets you excited. Go see this movie. I ain't saying it's the greatest movie. This ain't no Despicable Me 2 or nothing like this. One of the best films of the year. But, I mean, if you like, if you got boys who like dinosaurs like my nephew do, you definitely want to check it out. It's very educational. Proceed with Carson Blog. Kobe sucks. And I'm out.